it's Uncle Paul, and I just had an appointment with a cardiologist. It is 7.15 on Thursday morning, and uh, I'm sitting out here uh, in front of our admin building. Uh, uh, work started uh, Tuesday. And, okay, well, yesterday uh, I had my appointment with a cardiologist uh, yesterday morning. Now, y'all know it, from the previous uh, couple or last video, I guess, that, that I had the facial paralysis or the facial droop, as they say, uh, some kind of Bell's palsy. So they did a CT scan just to make sure that, you know, maybe, you know, that I didn't have some kind of mild stroke, had no other symptoms at all. Uh, and it's all cleared up now, thankfully. But uh, so, but based on that, you know, that's one of the reasons why they sent me to this cardiologist. Another reason is something that I haven't told y'all yet. And now y'all know uh, that I have, two years ago, I was um, diagnosed with uh, paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, which basically means that uh, I, my heart's in AFib uh, some of the time, not all the time. Uh, well, uh, when I got back, a week after I got back, from my hiking trip, uh, it started up full time. So that's one reason why they are, were concerned it might be a little stroke because I was in full blown AFib. So uh, now I've been on Coumadin for the last two years, blood thinner. So uh, it was unlikely. Uh, so it, that's probably not at all what happened. It was just some other reason. So anyway, uh, had a visit with the cardiologist and he's got me set up for some appointments in about three weeks from now. A couple of them are to get a better picture or a good picture of my heart. And then they're planning on doing what's called a cardioversion, I think is what it's called. And that's basically where they shock the heart. It's an all external um, and, I, you know, they uh, put you on some kind of anesthesia. But uh, they're going to try to shock it back into a normal rhythm. And uh, usually they're successful, uh, but they don't necessarily last, you know, extremely long. I mean, you know, it, it might be days, months, or years that it would, that it would last. But uh, so it was kind of interesting talking to him because, uh, you know, we talked about weight. We talked about food. And he was explaining to me how, you know, the... Uh, intake of food has to be less, you know, calorie-wise than the output, you know, your exercise and your activity. So, of course, I already know all that. And and I told him, I know how to lose weight. I know what to eat. Uh, it's just, I'm a food addict and I'm not consistent. And, uh, you know, that's, that's my main issue. So I can lose it. I just don't keep it off. So, but anyway, so I, I asked him about... Uh, exercise. I said, look, backpacking, doing stairs, preparing for backpacking trips. Is that something I can do with AFib and uh, in full-blown AFib? Uh, he was more concerned with my knees. <laughs> you know, he's like, do, do what you do, do what you're going to do. Don't worry about it. Uh, as far as your heart's concerned, but you know, he, he was more concerned about the effect all that's going to have on my knees, uh, in time. So anyway, uh, so that's just a quick update, uh, on my health. So, uh, you know, these things typically go well, but you never know. There's always a slight chance of something bad happening. So. It is nearly 10 o'clock in the morning, Saturday. It's already heating up pretty good. Uh, I still plan on doing my charity hike uh, on September 10th and 11th for the at Colorado Bend State Park for 46 Climbs Charity, which gives their money to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Uh, I still plan on doing that hike. Uh, hopefully. You know, these, this procedure, this cardio version will go well and it'll, uh, you know, get me back into uh, a, a more regular 
rhythm, a better heartbeat. Uh, but, you know, regardless, I think I'm going to be able to go on that hike anyway. So that's still my plan. And speaking of 46 climbs, I got the packet in the mail that they send out. Y'all seen this stuff the last two years when I've done this. Uh, but I'm just going to show you real quick. Some, it's a t-shirt right here. This year it's green. And uh, uh, just a, some other paraphernalia, which you can use kind of to advertise. But uh, got this uh, bandana. I always like to have that. Usually when I've gone hiking for the charity, I'll pin this on the back of, or the front, technically the front of my backpack. So if anybody, they'll see it and may ask about it, I can advertise a little bit. Uh, uh, no, leave no trace, little card there, uh, and a nice little sticker. I need to find a, don't know where I'll put that, but, uh, and then a couple of um, business type cards for advertising. So anyway, got that packet. I'm still planning on doing the hike. I'll leave a link below so that you can, uh, if you'd like to donate as little or as much as you'd like, you can uh, go directly to my page and do that. Now, in last week's video, I uh, mentioned how I was thinking about starting the uh, carnivore diet. And like my, uh, you know, diet, it, you know, in, in, cause it's just my, my food plan. It's what I eat. Diet is just what I eat on a daily basis. Uh, but like my sister-in-law pointed out, she said, well, isn't that what you pretty much do anyway? <laughs> yes, but I do have vegetables of various kinds. I also love my uh, low-carb flour tortillas. I like making the little pizzas with those with uh, as low of a low-carb uh, pizza sauce as I can find. And, and um, uh, my, I, I eat low-carb bread occasionally. So a lot of that stuff... I, you know, is what I have as well as a lot of protein, a lot of meat. So uh, I did decide to go ahead and I waited till after my appointment with the cardiologist on Wednesday before I made the decision and just talking to him about eating and stuff. So uh, I am doing it for this month. I mean, that's all I'm, you know, pledging, you know, whatever, committing to. Uh, and, and so that means I'm going to you know, red meat, you know, is, is just uh, pretty expensive. And so I'll eat some of that, but I'm really focused on pork and chicken, turkey, uh, fish, uh, and, uh, you know, maybe some like chicken livers, chicken hearts, uh, things like that. Um, I'll be eating eggs, of course, and cheese. And uh, there's, oh, I'll be using butter. Now I'm gonna be able to season things uh, with, you know, pepper, uh, garlic powder, different things like that. So, uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, no vegetables, uh, none of the other things that I mentioned. So I am doing the carnivore diet at least throughout this month after my procedure. Good Sunday morning, everybody. Well, just a couple of uh, things before I let you go this morning. Uh, when it comes to my diet plan, my eating plan, I've been doing it in intermittent fasting for a good while. So I, I usually stop eating well before 7, definitely by 7 in the evening. And I don't eat anything till at least 12 or 1 o'clock uh, the next day. So I still practice the intermittent fasting, I do think it helps. Also, my boss, my principal at the school, her son is wanting to through hike the Appalachian Trail next year. And so she's uh, trying to support him, but she's also nervous. So she told me that. And uh, I think that's kind of exciting. And hopefully I'll get a chance to visit with him. But I gave her my book. I forget the author's name. Some of y'all will remember. But he wrote Appalachian Trials. And so I had that, I read that before I went on, out on the AT. And so I gave that uh, to her to give to him. But anyway, I just thought uh, that was interesting. Might be kind of fun. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, share the channel. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. I plan on it. So Lord willing, I'll see you next Sunday.